guys, not Maria, and welcome back to the channel. I hope you enjoyed the little mission over there at the beginning. I hope that was fun for you because that was fun for me. Let's just jump into the game. It's Thursday morning. A little bit of time has passed since the events of the last episode. And uh, we just have Wolfgang out here making some food. Where's our little house? Here's our little baby, a little baby Jared. So cute. And we have Karen sleeping in his little bedroom. I imagine that like enough time has passed that they've been able to move into this home and kind of like decorate it a little bit. Most of the decorations is from like their previous house. I'm thinking that Wolfgang is gonna be kind of like a stay at home dad because he doesn't have a job. Um, Kimberly is the one that has a job right now. She still has that, uh, reporter job going on. She's gonna have to put her artistry to the side for a little bit because of that, well, two kids, am I right? So, I don't, I don't know. I kind of just want, for today's episode, to just go through and do a lot of, like, the fun, like, wholesome family stuff. I just... I, I'm thinking that this weekend I want them to do a little family reunion because I'm, let me double check, but I'm pretty sure, no, oh my god, why are they, for some reason, Wolfgang's other children haven't, like, aged up yet, which doesn't make sense time-wise. I'm gonna have to go in and, like, fix that real quick at some point. Oh, looks like he's getting ready to be fed, so I'm gonna have Wolfgang just go up there and take care of Cameron real quick. I wanted this house to be a speed build up on the channel and I, for some reason, accidentally recorded it with my face cam on. It's on the gallery. Oh my god, tomorrow is love day. I love that for us. That's so cute. Tomorrow's love day, I'm thinking in the morning we take the kids out and then in the afternoon we have a little date. Just us and Wolfgang, like, ooh. I don't know, it could be exciting. I feel like these two are gonna be like just the best of friends growing up. I gave the other dog to um, our ex-husband. I accidentally named our child with our second husband after our ex-husband. Well, there's no going back now. <laughs> How did I? Oh, that's yikes. That's a red flag right there. That is... Ooh. How did I fuck up this bathroom? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, that's fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Um, we should really get some stuff, some activities for, uh, Jared to do. <laughs> how do you, how do you do that accidentally? Alrighty. I just finally set everyone up at the right age in terms of Wolfgang's children. That Wolfgang, remember, he has three other children. Earl, Frederick, and Jared. This Let's Play is a little messy, y'all. It's... Uh, there's so much going on. But because they are now old enough for their toddlers, I thought it'd be really nice if I actually, like, invited them over and we had, like, a little bit of a toddler play date with all the little toddlers. Ooh, Kimberly just came home too. Ooh, okay, so now that Kimberly's home, um, we can have her work on maybe some of her plants, get some of that done. You know, she just came back home from work. She's got to kind of take a second to, you know, hang out and chill. Wolfgang, should you also have invited their parents? Now that I'm thinking about it, I guess they just dropped all their kids off and were like, all right, here you go, Wolfgang. Here's all your children. Don't worry about it. I need a house that's still even bigger than this now that I'm realizing. Maybe we're just renting this house for a little bit, okay? But I need a bigger house than this because I, I have enough room for all of our in-house children. But now I also need to make sure I have like a couple guest room or two for... And I'd like a room to for, for like writing and such and like art and whatever. But I think I just need one more room. <gasps> I just realized my mic isn't in front of me. I'm so sorry for the audio quality. Wolfgang begins to bite his lip in a suggestive manner. Their eyes stare intensely into Kimberly's. 
Kimberly dear, there's nothing that I would love more than you right now. Oh my god, you guys, you're being so silly. That's okay. Look at all these toddlers. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at all these little babies. I feel like I really need to give them little outfits because oh my god, this is terrible. That's okay. Wait, this should be a milestone too, right? Or do I have to like become friends? With your siblings though? I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. Oh my god, wait, can we play with Stella too? Pet? Oh my god, cute. Look at them though. Ah, it's so cute. Wait. Oh, It's okay, sweetheart. I wish that there was something where they could like, I don't know, more easily play together. Also, I just remembered that I just kind of put Cameron down here and kind of forgot about him. Should I change his name? Let me know in the comments because I feel like it's a little shitty to like name him after his uh or after Kimberly's ex-husband. I feel like that's a little weird. Ah, ah, look at them. They're so cute. Oh my god, talk about toys, talk about art. Look at them go. I think if you just keep talking to Stranger, it'll let you, like, unlock some of the other stuff. Isn't that fun and exciting? I know, I know it's almost Jared's birthday. I didn't know. I'm sorry. Oh my god, I feel like we just haven't had enough time with Jared. I know that I said that maybe we have him bestie, bestie, really? They just had a child, and now they are risking it. I wish that there was, like, a better activity for the toddlers to do where they could, like, play together. Could they, like, wait, could I, actions, add to group, okay, I can't, I'm just being dumb. Wait, we got this. We should be able to do some stuff together now? I don't, I don't know. Oh, wait, play with toys, maybe? No? Okay. We'll see how that goes. Like I said, we'll just, we'll just see. I do see that Cameron is very upset. He needs to be taken care of, like, right now, please. Sweet. Actually, you know what? Wolfgang, why don't you take care of your children? Like, make sure that the toddlers are okay and that they're having fun. Kimberly, why don't you come down and take care of Cameron? There's a lot going on here. It, uh, it just kind of always happens. Wait, that's really cute. So I'm looking at some of her moodlets after they had sex. And it says that for some sims, sex is a purely selfish physical act. Not for Kimberly and her partner. Okay. Who form a deeper emotional connection every time they get intimate with each other. Making one appreciate the other even more as they satiate their desires together. That is so sweet. That is so cute. Oh my god. Wait, and then we have, for him, Cookie with a hottie. Whoa, not only is Wolfgang's latest partner a breathtakingly beautiful sim, uh, but they also appear to be a sex aficionado, leaving Wolfgang aching for more, which, uh, while satisfying all of his... Oh my god. He's also um, happy from having a growing family. This home is looking so much more fuller. Yes, the space, but also the love. And having a close connection probably with Kimberly. He's happy about the new baby. And he's on the, like, feels like he's on the same wavelength with Kimberly. That is so cute. Dude, this is, all of this is so wholesome. This is exactly what I wanted today. Just some cozy, very cute, very wholesome family gameplay. Like, we've got all our all of our kids here and they're having a cute little play date why don't I read wait can I read a book to all of my children oh my god we can oh my god we can yes okay 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 oh my god you guys what are you doing come sit down come sit down oh my god you guys this is just, I mean, okay, she is like breast, breastfeeding right through that window. 
But this is just so, like, wholesome. I want to get, like, a good screenshot to kind of get you guys, like, inside, essentially. To feel like you, you can see how full of love this household is. Just, like... There is so much going on, and I love absolutely every single second of it. I also did kind of realize that I'm going to have to age everyone up, like all the toddlers up, because they're supposed to be the same age or around as Jared. So at least the twins, Earl and Frederick, um, there we go, Frederick, they should be aging up at the same time. Um, I could probably wait for Jared to be, like, a day late or something. I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see. Or, you know what? We could probably age him up right now. Or, or not. What are you doing? Are you going home? Oh, there we go. Okay, look at him. Wait. Oh, oh, okay. I, I guess maybe don't look at him. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> I don't really know what happened there. I'm going to get everyone cleaned up and in bed, and then I'll see you guys tomorrow for love day. All right, it is early morning on Friday. It's about 1030, and we are just kind of getting everyone situated and just having a nice, like, morning, if you will. Wolfgang is doing some chores around the house, and Kimberly is taking care of Cameron. Since it's love day, maybe we have Wolfgang even, like, pick some of the flowers and maybe try doing a small little like flower arrangement as a gift for Kimberly as a token of how much he cares about her and how much they just enjoy having Kimberly in their life and just a physical representation of the outpour of their love if you will. Oh Cameron started moving his little arms to reach for nearby objects oh my god. And as soon as Kimberly is done with bathing Cameron, I think I'm going to have her take a pregnancy test just in case for what happened yesterday. I really should have bought the condoms or something because uh, we shouldn't be risking having another child right now. I don't have the space, like clearly. So we'll see. We'll see if we'll need to move again by next episode. All right, Kimberly. What have you got? Thank God. She is not pregnant. And thank the Lord for that. Oh my God. Like I said, could you imagine if she was pregnant? We're not, we're not there right now. Also, can we appreciate, just for a second, Wolfgang trying out flower arranging for, for Kimberly? Is that not cute as fuck? Oh my God. Like I said, I think once they're done, maybe they'll go on a little date, have some fun together, go out, maybe, I don't know. She's actually been taking up some jogging, some running, so maybe they'll do one of the walking paths in San Sequoia, and I don't know, we'll, we'll kind of have to see where it goes from there. All right, Cameron and Jared have been set to daycare while we are out here in the sweet little oh. San Sequoia. This is I guess this is their first time coming here. I don't know. Maybe they find it to be kind of nice. Maybe, maybe this is where they should settle down. If they decide to have another child, well, we'll have to see how the date goes, okay? We will jog around the lake with uh, Kimberly. There we go. Uh, I thought you guys would get into some clothing but maybe you're just making your way to the the thing and then you'll change yeah there they go look at them oh have you ever seen such beautiful sims that are so clearly in love i mean you probably have but like look at them absolute power couple chef's kiss to them honestly this would be such a nice place for them to live in though have a little jogging path and oh my god wait we could sit here if i had brought some food like the little picnic basket for them it would be all over so now we can actually sit down have the actual like date part we can compliment his appearance a little bit do tomorrow. some jokes also this date has gone on for a little bit longer than i thought it would <laughs> but that's okay i i like seeing them so happy 
Santa Clara is really pretty when you look at it. Like this place, could you imagine taking some wedding photos here? Abs, you, you would just die. It's so pretty. It's just a shame that so many of these um lots are like not real. It's also a shame that a lot of these houses just aren't real. Okay, thank God. They're at least in a discreet location this time. What is that? The shower? Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I'm not bad by that one. Okay, it's not like their first date when it was like literally on a park bench in the middle of uh, Brindleton Bay. Look at them though. They actually moved out of Brindleton Bay like pretty quickly. I don't know. We're gonna have to go check up on Cameron and Becca sometime. Maybe. <gasps> It's Jared's birthday today, isn't it? Maybe, just maybe he's gonna be the one hosting the party. We'll have to see. Or maybe he'll, we'll give him like a cute little like Father's Day weekend, if you will, with, with his dad. God, do we want to throw, I do want to throw him a party, but it's like eight o'clock. All right, so we are at this little park in Windenburg, which is where Wolfgang is from. Um, here's his mom, Mila, except that she's a little, um, mm-hmm, with this stepdad, Marcus. Oh, I should have invited him. We should invite him over. And like I said, we are having a birthday party for our sweet child. And I want Jared to just blow the candles out, like, first things first. I would like, oh my god, wait, have we shown our mom? Our child, um, introduce to Cameron. That's so cute. Now I need to go over here and make sure that I'm here for Jared. All right, thank you, Marcus. Appreciate you. Appreciate your commitment. <laughs> oh my God, oh my God. Wait, we're gonna see how he looks as a child. Yes! Okay, he is gonna be a bookworm, which means... So we have new new aspirations for children, but then I also have some that I downloaded. So we could be um, a scoutmaster, we could be a whiz kid, um, child delinquent, no, animal obsession, multi-skill, oh my god. Wait, multi-skill is the one we have, right? Um, mind and body... Mm, um, I kind of do just want him to go through the scouts. I think that's what I want. Oh my god. Oh my god, Jared! You're all aged up! Oh my god. Wait, go hug your dad. Um, dad! Ah, good job! Oh my god, goof around. And look at the absolute death stare that she is giving him. Is that a death stare or is that just like a... You know, Jared is saying, well, you're my favorite parent, even though he's the one that is never around. Yes, they can be jokesters. Oh, my God. <gasps> Y'all, I have plans. I have ideas. Have Has Jared met any of these people? Also, has Kimberly met either of these people? Yes. Okay. Look at Mila, though. Cute little grandma. Yes, grandma vibes. Oh, my God. Kimberly's probably, like, coming up to, you know, say hi to to her mother-in-law. And she's like, oh, my God, Mila, you're pregnant. <gasps> That's got to be so exciting. I'm so happy for you. Here's your baby back. Ah! I'm sorry. It's just too cute. How long? It's okay. So it's about to be 11 o'clock. I should probably like have everyone go home. I think this is a pretty successful party. I'm thinking we send everyone home and then tomorrow we can have uh, Jared go over to his dad's house and spend the day with him. We should do a family reunion soon. Probably like what? Should we think for like next weekend? Because I do want everyone to just kind of like have time to like spend together so we'll see we'll see um i also need to get jared a bigger bed 
All right, for now, this is what the room is going to be looking like. I, like I said, I want him to go hang out with his dad tomorrow. Maybe even um, have Cameron, like, I don't know, like, just have some fun. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. We'll have to see. Because I, I have ideas. I just, I didn't figure out how to execute them correctly. <laughs> It's interesting that for some reason all of this has gotten Kimberly back into the mood of painting, which is really cute, but because they did have unprotected sex, I do want her to take a pregnancy test just in case. I'm not like hoping or wishing or trying for things to happen. I just, I want to be prepared. Definitely not pregnant. Okay, definitely not pregnant. So we're okay. You guys let me know. Do you think that Kimberly should get pregnant or do you think that we should like wait a little bit longer before we have a child? Wait, she's upset that she failed to conceive. Maybe I'm going to have them try just once, okay? If they don't get pregnant from this attempt, then I am, I don't know. I think I'll, I'll stop like actively trying after this attempt. So it is the next day and we have everyone standing out here together. We have Cameron, we have our sweet little baby Jared, and we have Becca, who I did give a little bit of a makeup to, makeover to. And I'm thinking that we have everyone go out and go shopping together out to Magnolia Promenade so we can get Jared some cute little outfits. Ooh, also before we actually leave, I did want to show you the house real quick. Well, the apartment. It has been upgraded quite a bit since we last saw it, but that makes sense because Cameron is a detective of some sort and Baka has since moved in with him and I even got like a little, there's no actual window here, I just put some LED strips behind here and it kind of adds a little bit of light into the room. So, I just wanted to bring that up because I think that this place absolutely looks precious and our sweet little scotch is also living here with them let's go shopping all righty here we are at the mall question mark it's a shame that magnolia promenade came with such a such an empty store anyways uh let's get jared looking at some of the clothes and kind of like figuring out what he actually wants to maybe buy maybe you could try on this outfit and see how he looks on it in it Maybe Jared can do the same thing with the, maybe this outfit over here. Oh, look at Jared in his little outfit. Oh my God, yes. Okay, purchase, purchase, purchase. Oh my God, I love it. Love. Now let's, oh God, don't buy that. Uh, don't buy the mirrors. I just wanted you to go in and change your outfits. <gasps> let's just in have a montage of changing his outfits now. So for Jared's outfits, I wanted them to be fairly chill, fairly casual. Similar to his outfits that I did for when he was a toddler, I wanted it to be a mixture between what I think that Cameron would buy him and things that I think Kimberly would let him wear. So I don't know. I, I think his outfits are very fun, very youthful, maybe towards the end parts of his childhood years. We can kind of change them up and make them more a little bit more like preteen outfits. I thought they were fun. I really like the clothing items that came for kids with the new Growing Together packs. They're just so... It's kind of just what I needed. I feel like if I had some of the, like, children's clothes kit, like, I'd have more fun dressing up my children. But I just... I, I hate kids with a passion. But I love this sweet little baby Jared. Oh, my God. I love his outfits so much. I tried to keep them in very, like, pastels and jeans because I just thought that that would fit the area most. So... I don't know. I had a lot of fun <laughs> with dressing him up. Oh, I can't wait to give little baby Cameron his outfits when he ages up too. I'm so excited for all this. All right. I think he has the perfect little outfit style. I Let me know what you think about his outfits. I just, he's so cute. He's so precious. It is still 10 a.m. and still bright. Well, it's still kind of dark is what I meant to say. Is it supposed to be cloudy all day? I'd like to get them somewhere that's a little bit more mm, sunny or maybe just somewhere that's not as cloudy for something. Just, just wait and see. 
And there's no other place that could be quite as sunny as Sulani. Now we're here today because I have something quite special planned between all of us. And I kind of want that to be here in Sulani. So let's actually... Um, Paka, maybe you should be back floating in the water instead of sunbathing. I kind of forget that you're a, um, a mermaid. Merman? Mer person? We could just hang out, like I said, as a little family. Look at how cute, though. Look at how cute. I love, I love, I love, I love them. Uh, this is fun. I'm glad that everyone's kind of figured out, um, something that works for them, you know? Well, damn, Cameron, you sure got nice and toasty. Let's have you maybe go over here and maybe grill some plantains for lunch. I think that could be really nice. Or, or not. Okay. Really? Come on. And Becca, why don't you come over here and you can chat with him. You can join in on the cooking. Ooh, that was fun. I, I need to give some more love to the mermaids. Because I just, I, I always forget. I do, I would like for us to grab some food together though and eat lunch. It is about to be two o'clock in game. Man, like father, like son, am I right? And then I'd like for all of us to walk over to literally the other side of this. While we're here, I want... I want them to become best friends. I think that'd be cute. A and B, I want them to um, just start getting a little romantic. You know, get the romantic stuff on, profess his undying love for Cameron, compliment his appearance. <gasps> the romance festival is in town? Oh my god. I feel like that's a little bit too much. No, I'd rather do this. I love you so much. I am so ready to move on to the next step of our phase together. Jared, please turn around. Oh my god. Look at how sweet, how romantic. Oh my god. Dude, and the sun right behind? Yes. Yes. Or do we want the ring to be the one in the light? No. Okay, what have we got? What have we got? Yes! Yes! Oh my god, please! Oh my god, that's amazing! Okay, okay, okay. Everyone, calm down, please. Control yourselves. Um, I want to take a selfie with Baka. Now that we're... Now that we're here, we're together... And, oh my god, yes, 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 oh my god, oh god. I want them to have a little, um, engagement dinner with, oh god, do we know anyone? Okay, plenty of friends, plenty of people. Um, I'd like for us to have just like some dances and some drinks, and then I'd like to have it here at the bar. Party time, yes! Okay, we're shared. We're right here, Cedar. Perfect. Um, did your parents not show up, sweetheart? They, they have to show up. Hey, mom, what are you coming over? Dad and Paka got engaged and I want you to be here. Why aren't you here immediately already? Mom. Okay. And dad. Do you think that Jared calls Wolfgang dad? Do you think he calls him Wolfgang? No, that guy is gonna in introduce himself to a bunch of other people. Um, I think most of these people are uh, Camerons. So, you know. We're meeting people. We're hanging out. We're chilling. Um, have your parents arrived yet? I think it'll be fun. I don't know. I think it'll be great for them to get married. I think I'll have them get married next episode. I have an idea as to what I want to do for their wedding. I just gonna have to make those thoughts a reality. Oh my god, your parents are here. <gasps> there they are. Oh my god. 
We should discuss our sad mood, though. Maybe we talk to our our, our stepdad and be like, Hey, dude, I, I'm having these issues. I am so sad. It's so upsetting. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like by this point, nobody's really told Jared what happened between Baka and his dad and his mom. So... He doesn't really understand the complexities of it. What are you... Why are you yelling at this child? I don't know. Maybe Jared was, like, complaining about him having more siblings. And Wolfgang is just like, listen, it's... You don't get to decide when other people have children. Like, it... Like, I... I... What? Okay. Like, there's a lot going on and you don't get to decide that for other people. Like, I'm sorry, sweetheart. Anyways, like I think this is gonna not as fun of a party as I thought it was gonna be. Oh no, wait, who is the plus? Who is he flirting with? Maybe we could talk through our issues. Be like, hey, yeah, I I know that we've been drinking today, but like, please, please don't flirt with someone else. Come on. Um, can we flirt? Let's express our devotion though, and our love. How much we love him? I think it'll work. Make sure that we give him a nice big old smooch. Oh no. Oh no, he's not liking this. When did this happen? Their romance has gone down by like half. <gasps> this is very awkward. Oh my god. Can I have them like... Him and Pakai, you know, like go out here... And, like, just you guys talk alone? Broken trust. Keeping secrets is hard, but seeing the pain of your loved one's eyes is even harder. If only Paka could regain the trust he lost. Hey, guys. We literally just got engaged, and you guys are already having issues? Here, can I just, like, I don't know, just embrace him? Be like, hey, it's okay. No, he's not having it. He's... Ugh. I know what he's doing. He's doing that thing where, like... I, he doesn't feel like he deserves to be happy. It's okay. You guys, you guys could fix this. We can do this. We, we can do this. Can I like embrace him still? Yeah, yeah. Come on guys. You guys know what to do. Come on. You guys, we'll, we'll be able to fix it. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. We just hit a little bit of a rocky road out of nowhere for some reason. If we just go over, kiss and make up, we'll be fine. It'll be fine, you guys. Like, there's no need to worry. Did they run away from their party to go make up? Yes. Are we going to watch them? No. That is their own private time. We can have Jared come up here and be like, Hey, Mom, I know you don't like Baka and... I don't know. I think he's a good, he's a good fit with dad. I don't, I don't know. I, I kind of like him. I, I think it'll be good. Like that kind of stuff, you know? Again, he, I don't think he knows what's going on. Oh, I'll talk to them the next time I see him. Please don't. I think actually this is a pretty good place for us to end the episode. A, a lot happened today and I do apologize, but like, oh my God, exciting stuff has happened. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for hanging out and for showing me so much love on some of my recent videos. I hope you guys consider subscribing, leaving a like, all that good stuff, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!